listen brand new updated news on alleged killers and all that look this is not my report but i report meaning that i'm not accusing this person we're gonna bring up i'm not doing none of that all i do is tell y'all who the people are accusing what's going on and what's on the news already this ain't no secret it's nothing that was given hidden behind the scenes because we know how our people could be when our melanated folks cover news street people or other people want to throw accusations on you all i do is cover the news now little cam i don't know who he is but that's the name going out on tmz and everywhere they're saying they're talking about this dude little cam from the fifth ward and all that allegedly and i don't even know if his homie's name but it's been going everywhere on credible media related source and everybody even to dj academics they're bringing this individual up but some of his alleged homies and affiliates are speaking now and everybody is calling each other a rat that's all we're gonna bring up right now until i continue i need y'all to do me one solid favor i smoke hip-hop nation gang i don't beg for donations or nothing like that but I, what i will beg for is hit the like button hit the notification bell post notifications so you don't miss any news and updated situations going on make sure you share this video i am your host dj bless one let's get on with it now we've been showing you various pictures of people being blamed now i guess little cam would be the guy who's from fifth ward he's the one who had the yellow shirt on i just did a video of that and it's this one right here he had the yellow shirt on where everybody was accusing him if you don't know what i'm talking about do you remember the slow motion video here that we showed for the world that was being sent to everybody i actually looked out for everybody involved by not accusing anybody but they say if you look on this slow motion video here you can see the alleged killer aka i'm not gonna even say the name of little cam i'm gonna just say whoever they think is alleged killer they say this video shows you everything you can see when he shoots i don't see that but apparently other people see that so that's why we're sharing this information i just seen a lot of commotions on this video here i see a lot of things going on and it's hard to tell i seen some of the people that they said who was the person of interest you feel me all that you know and if y'all don't know who they're accusing of being a person of interest the good homie who was there that day um quavo and them homie right here they're trying to blame him what I said is all he did was just clutch. You don't see any videos of this dude who was wearing all black shooting or anything. I know he has a yellow shirt here, but he's not the one with the yellow shirt they're talking about. This is an old picture. You know what I mean? Let's get on with the situation. Now, little Cam own homies allegedly are saying that he is guilty i'm gonna go to the new pictures but these are the old ones we did on the video probably an hour ago i don't know which one of these are gonna get uploaded first but you can see why people think it's him there's pictures of him running away and he's being the star person in this now but although i don't hear anything about cops looking for him this is like internet detective shit, and i'm not hating on nobody but just look at it thoroughly they're saying if you look he was with Jay Prince Jr. I, I didn't see that, but they're like the video where Jay Prince Jr. is walking past the body and he's leaving. They're saying the alleged person, Little Cam, was who's the yellow shirt was with him walking through and through. But what I do is instead of accusations, is go over the videos and we look. Now, Little Cam has affiliates who are going brazy out here. Affiliates who are now on social media or saying who are bringing their cousins to speak for them bringing family members to speak for them and they're all saying each other or ratting on each other i don't know how they went to that purpose but the whole thing i've been watching it shows a lot of shady business a lot of shady situations now i'm gonna go over to what this key witness has said the day before if we can add it to little cam let's see was a sacrifice no this was a argument between two camps and it wasn't even between two camps because takeoff and quavo was basically trying to be the mediator between the people who were arguing okay let's stop it here takeoff and quavo were trying to be a mediators between the two people who were arguing so when i see young dudes like like a little cam they're showing involved or whatever and a lot of people said this man little cam is actually from the fifth ward and they were going crazy saying that they were showing it let me show you this is the pic where 
they made him go viral there was like he's a fifth ward alleged representative you're probably like how i'm saying that well one of the witnesses put their messages to everybody they sent it out there this was a key eyewitness you you pretty much know this eyewitness is going to be on the stand because they're civilians they have a right to be on the stand if they won't they said i saw him there but i don't know him i know he was at the table gambling then they went thoroughly deeper more i thought after that message it was good enough then they said this i think he was with people from fifth ward but i'm from a leaf in the southwest so i don't know them see this this witness kept it truthful that's what i'm trying to tell you these civilians ain't really trying to rat they're just being civilians and saying what they seen so for people to throw these names and caspirations on them bro you gotta fall back bro a civilian is gonna be a civilian now let me go through the rest of this eyewitness so you guys can see what i mean y'all was not there when this happened it, it, it had nothing to do with that so all these 30 second videos that they're seeing this and that everybody's saying well he didn't act the way how he act whenever um uh takeoff got shot did, did they tell you he passed the fuck out now i believe that part based on other witnesses when they said and based on that dumb video they made go viral which i didn't share you can see quavo how he was yelling for his nephew aka brother take off it hurted his heart a lot nobody could sit down i don't care how thuggish you were bro i'm numb to this bro no you're a fool to that if you can't cry for your dog that i'm the same one who defended Quando rondo when he was yelling for his homie i'm like if you don't yell for me the way Quando and quavo did for their people then you ain't my homie bro if somebody whacked me let me knock on wood and you don't cry for me the way these folks cry for their dogs you're not my dog bro i i feel that way all the way but i want to go to the exclusive the officers speaking on this because it can tell us a lot based on Bring what they're talking about what they're alluding to because everything can add up to this and match up you'll see what i mean later because i broke it with the case and situation with PNB Rock and many other rappers. If you want to see how they're going to solve the case, how these officers are going to go about it, listen to the press conference and listen to the way they speak. Let's look at it together so you can see what I mean. Hang on, y'all. To come up and uh, translate in Spanish, but, and he'll go over um, some of the investigative parts, but let me speak to this. Uh, just right. Uh, we understand and we know it last this morning at about approximately 2.34 a.m. Officers received a call of a shooting in progress. Officers arrived there shortly thereafter. The location is in the downtown location. Billiards uh, Bowling Alley located at 1201 San Jacinto Street uh, here in the downtown area. Once officers arrive, He's a, a member of the Migos uh, rap and outside of Houston. And everyone spoke of what a great young man this is. How what I'm trying to show you is you got to look at their face. You got to see the confidence in what they're speaking. I'm not going to play the whole interview, but the links will be in the description box to this video. While I'm showing you it, I want you guys to go watch that whole interview that the officers did. It's almost a 10 minute interview and you got to pay attention to as far as witnesses, this they're talking about or situations here, what they know. Then you can add it up with all the details that's been being shared to bloggers and people in the streets and all that. You will get your answers. That's all i could tell you man look i'm dj bless one the hard-hitting news are not gonna stop they will keep getting updated with y'all i'm not gonna stop man salute to all of y'all i'm not solving anything i'm not being a detective all we're doing is covering the news no difference from all the news stations out there we're not accusing anybody we're showing you what the situation is on out there man look man love your family love your kids and stay blessed i am dj bless one your host once again salute to the i smoke hip-hop nation what you guys need to do is just hit that like button share this video and come rock out with me blessings to the kings and the queens salute